All right, uh, today I got a comment on my page. Someone asked me if I would make a video showing my video game collection. So I thought, you know, I haven't made a video in a while, just, you know, been about a month, three weeks, whatever. I thought, you know, that's a pretty good idea. So yeah, I'll show my game collection. Now I'll warn you, my collection isn't nearly as impressive as the Angry Video Game Nerds or Armake 21s. Oh, by the way, speaking of Armake 21, if, uh, if you're not aware, He's back. He made a new account called Box Entertainment 21. Just go look at my subscription subscriptions, and you'll find it. So uh, basically, how we're going to do this is I'm going to show each uh, system and its collection. One, we're going to do this one system at a time. We're going to show this, the system itself, or the systems. If it's like in the case of the CDI, I have two of them. We'll just show both of them. But we're going to do this one system at a time, and it's because you know right now, as you can see. Most of my stuff is actually put away. Um, I would say that three quarters of my collection is basically Atari 2600, 3DO, and CDI. The rest is everything else. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start with the Atari 2600. Okay, so here is the Atari 2600. This specific model is the Atari Junior, which I believe came out some some number of years after the original one with the wood trim I don't exactly remember um, when it came out but it's one of the later 2600s um, now let's uh, take a look at some of the games that I have for the 2600 now as you see here we have a couple boxes um, I actually won this a lot this is all one big lot and in addition to about 200 something games that I have for the 2600, looks we got these um, fucking shit. God, I haven't even opened much of this shit. Basically, instruction manuals for some of the games. So you can see uh, there's like Pac Man um, top. We also got a bunch of controllers. You can see um, fucking paddle like things right here in addition to of course the classic Atari 2600 controller that shit fucking cords tangled up um, well, of course the classical 2600 controller that we're all familiar with now I, I actually did uh, get a chance to go play through some of these games I haven't played through all of them um, can see uh, there's actually a few games that I never would have imagined would be on the 2600 that were on the NES. So we have uh, Double Dragon for the Atari. Yes, uh, that was uh, pretty interesting. Um, and of course, one of the more memorable ones for me is Jungle Hunt. I actually had this on the 5200 back when I was. Uh, about five six years old and it's actually the very first game that I beat so it was actually a real blast of the past to go and play this on the 2600 of course uh, you know some of the other ones like uh, Halloween um, Fender 2 shitload of games you got like Frogger uh, Popeye this Pitfall all the classics um, and of course uh, what else we got here? Ooh. Dun 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 da E.T. Snake! Yeah, well, that, that, when I first saw that title, I, I, that, that just makes me think of uh, Autocom, familiar solid. Snake! The Berserker. There's just so many fucking games here. Um. You know, so yeah, it goes down pretty deep. So yeah, uh, yeah. Now on to the NES. All right, here's the NES collection. Uh, it's disappointingly small. It's nowhere near as big as the irate gamers or the AVGNs. Uh, there's only about, say, about 15, no, not even 15 games uh, in this collection. 
I had about 30 games as a kid and I had sold off most of them to raise funds to buy Genesis games, which, um, you know, I'm kicking myself today for that. Um, but there were still a few games that I held on to. And there's like maybe a couple that I had actually bought recently. Uh, this here's the action set. Uh, I actually bought this off of eBay because I was a dumbass and it sold my original system. So there's the action set. Uh, some games can be like there's got side pocket, silkworm, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hut cartridge. That came with the action set. Got uh, Operation Wolf, Double Dragon. We got Action 52. Simon's Quest, Athena, Super Mario Brothers 2, Atari Warriors, Fester's Quest, Zelda 2, Zelda 1, and Akari Warriors 2. Now with uh, the exception of about five of these games, or actually six, six of the cartridges that I laid out. Uh, the others I had as a child and was were unable to sell off. Action 52 and Athena were bought off eBay, and these other three games. Um, let me see: Silkworm, Fester's, Fester's Quest, Silkworm, and Side Pocket were actually owned by a friend and I you know back I was borrowing from them I was borrowing these games from a friend and then I he borrowed a shirt a Jabot shirt of mine and what ended up happening was a mutual friend somehow pressured my friend to let him borrow my Jabot shirt which of course pissed me off and then this mutual friend never gave it back to him so I kept these games as sort of a retribution for that. So uh, yeah, there, that's uh, my NES collection. Okay, so this is where I keep my stash of uh, Genesis stuff. After the NES uh, era, you know, the whole 16-bit era was coming out, so I went and I got a Genesis. My brother got a Super Nintendo, and so I basically turned into a Genesis fanboy. So here is um, my Genesis game. Oh yeah, in addition to um, my uh, Genesis stuff, there's uh, actual some other stuff. There's the, my brother's Super Nintendo right there. A um, bunch of NES accessories, Zapper, NES Advantage, Satellite. There's a uh, Max right here. But anyway, let's get to the games. Uh, Fucking Genesis right there, old mod. This is the original baby right here. I'm glad I didn't sell off my Genesis stuff the way I sold off my um, Nintendo stuff. Let me see. So we got Echo the Dolphin, Strider, Sonic Spinball, uh, NFL 94. I was actually a fan of Joe Montana back in the day. These uh, Montana games. I used to have a friend. We'd come over to each other's house and play. So that was basically the last time I would play sports games. Um, also played NHL, that was pretty cool. Uh, Fatal Fury, Castle of Illusion, Sagaya. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good shooter. So if you get a chance to try it, uh, I would highly encourage you to do so. Shit. Okay, we got um, let's see, Sonic 2, Jurassic Park, Columns. This piece of shit right here, Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah. A lot of people say that this is better than the Super Nintendo version. I strongly disagree with that, but uh, that's a different video for a different day. We've got um, Mutant League Football, probably the only title, the only half decent title to ever come out of uh, Electronic Arts. Um, Streets of Rage, of course, classic. And of course, Sonic. See, you can see the not for resale. That was the uh, 
cartridge that came with the game, you know, I actually got this son of a bitch for Christmas when I was 11 back in uh, 91. And uh, NHL, PA hockey, I think this is 90, yeah, 93. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, all my Genesis stuff. Oh, and one more uh, classic, Toad Jam and Earl. Can't go wrong with that.